Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my hardware guide series, and today we're going to be talking about the Sega CD. So the Sega CD, also known as the Mega CD, was released as a CD-ROM peripheral for the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive video game console. It was released in 1991 in North America and 1992 in Japan, and in 1993 in Europe. Uh, the Sega CD could play CD-ROM-based games as well as audio CDs, and it was also allowed uh, for the use of full motion video and improved graphics in games. The Sega CD was not as successful as Sega had honestly hoped it would be, and it was actually discontinued in 1996. Now, there were several different versions of the Sega CD, which were released in different regions and in different times. Uh, these include the Sega CD Model 1. Uh, it's, this is the original version of the Sega CD that was released in North America in 1991. It had a front-loading CD tray and kind of a bulky design. Now, these have some mechanical issues. There's like a gear that uh, a lot of people have started 3D printing to replace, and it's since it's a a drive. I'm thinking either it's gear based or there's a belt as well that can also wear out. It's a beautiful thing. It fits the the Model 1 Genesis just fine. It looks great. But honestly, it's just not for me. Uh, I didn't like the aesthetic of it and I don't like how it's a little bit on the unreliable side. So it's not for me. It could be for you, you know, just just saying it's not for me. The second thing, the, the second model that came out was the Sega CD Model 2. It's a redesign of the first one, released in J first in Japan, I think, in 1993. It features a top-loading CD tray and a smaller form factor vertically, although horizontally it's a lot wider. It does have an adapter plate so that you can uh, mount a Model 1 Sega Genesis onto this. However, I like the smaller footprint of being able to take a Sega Genesis Model 2 and the CD Model 2, sandwich them together, and it works just fine. Uh, the Mega CD 2 was released in Europe in 1993, and it's essentially the same thing. I think there's a few plastic color variations. I think the eject button is blue and the BIOS are a little different. Then there was the Sega CDX. This is a com combination of the Sega CD and the Genesis slash Mega Drive. Um, these things are very rare. They look like an oversized portable CD player. Uh, they did run off of batteries, which was weird, but most people just plug them into the wall and it has two places for controllers to plug in. Uh, they are exceedingly hard to work on, so if you get one and it breaks, I'm very sorry. It's just, they, they crammed that thing into such a small form factor and layered boards on top of each other to the point that it's almost impossible to work on. Uh, but it's, it's a beautiful system. If you've got one that works, congratulations. Uh, I am somewhat jealous. I had an opportunity to buy one in early 2000 and I skipped on it. And I'm still kind of regretting that, but you know what? I can play my Sega CD games multiple ways, so I'm good. Uh, in addition to the versions, there were uh, multiple variations of the Sega CDX, kind of, uh, you know, um, like there was the JVC XI uh, and, and like a couple of other things where it was, uh, there, there was the Laser Active and a bunch of other weird systems that the Sega CD also came out on. And um, yeah, that was the Sega CD. It was very underrated. Uh, it was one of, I think it was like the second CD-based console ever released. The first add-on was actually for the TurboGrafx-16 and uh, Sega came up with one shortly thereafter. And then Nintendo was actually going to follow suit, but they didn't. And uh, that's why we have PlayStation. But that's all I've got for you today, guys. You have a wonderful day. And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. 
I'm your host, Mundane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.